Let's see what Rachel's doing. I just need one cup of coffee by the fire before we face 20 something degrees. We have definitely got to get up and get in the shower. We have like 25 minutes to get out the door. I feel like this will make me go faster. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome here on Two Crazy Ketos. We do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch, where we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every <laughs> single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah, so it is day two. It's cold. We're in Omaha. I'm um, afraid to get in the shower. My nose is like so dry. I'm used to like very high humidity and my nose is so dry and it's weird because I keep feeling like I have like nose hairs or something. There's nothing in there. It's just a now weird feeling. Making me check. I'm sorry about your nose, but I'm really excited about hair this morning because although I look crazy now, whatever hairstyle I see in the mirror, thanks to no humidity, I'm going out the door with that same hairstyle. This is very, very weird. I'm excited, but my face is a little bit dry. Like I, I definitely need some more moisturizer yeah. today. So it's day two at Keto Summit, and uh, we do apologize for the lighting. The, the house that we're staying at, like all of the lighting is that yellow, yellow lighting, and we actually switched all the light bulbs out in our house to the pure white because it's better for video. So there's nothing I can do about it, so I apologize up front that the yeah, lighting's a little Do I look sickly? <laughs> I feel like I'm jaundiced. I know. We need, yeah. We need some vitamin sun. I hear the coffee machine going, yet you have coffee. What's up with that? That is my backup pot. It may take two. I may need to bring the pot and just pour it in my lap. You know we have like 15 minutes for you to take a shower and get out the door, right? You, you know, a woman who's got 15 minutes, you can't believe what she can do with it. It's like a woman with a pound of hamburger meat. <laughs> We can do amazing things. We can feed a family of 50 if we have to. So we're going to head over to the convention center. We had a really good time yesterday. I mean, we, guys, we, we didn't take a lot of footage because at, in the afternoon, because just, you know, I didn't know, like, fun. should we stick a camera in Chris and Miriam's face and in Heather and Phil's face? We but, are so happy to see you. But today, we're going to be sticking cameras in Heather and Phil's face. In everybody's face. I also realized that yesterday was Thursday. Yeah. Now, this is day one of the actual convention. Yeah, but we were supposed to live stream last night. Oh. I forgot. <laughs> next week at 9.30. Next week at 9.30. Eastern Standard Time. Eastern Standard Time on Thursday. We're going to be live streaming. And during that live stream, if you saw the video that I put up this morning, we're doing a Keto Crate giveaway in that video. And so we're going to pull the winner during the live stream next Thursday. Bonus. But you have to watch you have yesterday's to watch, video. You have to watch the video that I put up for you yesterday. Right? It's always weird because what I'm filming right now. Are we in now now? We're in now now now. Oh. So, so for them it's Saturday. For us it's Friday. Oh, okay. So, so the video that I put up on Friday, that's a good way to say it. The video that I put up on Friday. That'll do it. That has the Keto Crate giveaway. So you have to be subscribed to the channel. You need to go over, you hit the like button on that video, the one that I put up on Friday. It's going to say day one. This video is going to be labeled day two. Oh. Okay, because it's day two of our travel, but it's day one of the convention. I know everything is confusing. This is a lot of math. <laughs> We're so early and so cold. We're going to go get in the shower and head over to the convention center. So it's 8.45 and uh, as usual, we're running late. I'm, like, I'm still adjusting myself. <laughs> still adjusting to wearing coats. It takes longer to go to the bathroom and get yourself ready. You have to really think about it because coat and jeans and extra shirts and all this stuff. And for someone who's on keto, we have to pee a lot. I know. I've been having to pee constantly. 
And with the change in temperature and everything else, now my nose is bothering me. I'm sorry. And it's like dry, but it's not dry. And I feel like there's, I don't know, stuff in there, but there's nothing in there. I mean, this is there's way too disgusting. There's nothing in there. <laughs> it's all, there's nothing to see here. I will say this, I slept like a rock last me night. Me too. Except for, I only have one pillow and I'm used to having like 50 pillows. I don't, we're, we're kind of weird that way, right? We, we have do. just like surrounding ourselves we in pillows. We have a fort and at night we have a snowball fight. And our, our bed is directly below a window. So you'd feel good and then all of a sudden you'd get like a little breeze. Did you feel that of it coming in? No, I'm like, you, that felt really good. You broke it for me, thank you. <laughs> I was just encapsulated in warmth because I had my snuggly pajamas on and I had my snuggly robe on. It was awesome. You slept in your robe. I did. You're reminding my mom growing up who used to sleep in a hat. I haven't gone that far yet. I feel like I'm not, you know how they differentiate you like 18 to 25, 26 to 35. Like I think there is sleep with a hat to not sleep with a hat, right? Like. Yeah, I'm in the age range where we're still not sleeping with a hat on yet. Well, we're going to get over to the convention center. We're going to walk around with the camera, see what's going on, and uh, we'll check in with you guys throughout the day. We're here. We made it. I'm so excited. Look at all these amazing vendors, and they've already started the speakers over there. I kind of want to, like, go grab a seat. We have, who's over here? We have Mish Cakes is over there. Redman is up there. There's Dr. Berry. There's Keto Chow. And there's the cutest thing in the world. I don't know if you can get it. There's Miriam! Look but look at this. this. The electrolyte drops have Dr. Berry on them. How yeah. cute is this? Now these things are awesome, but what's nice about these is you buy this and then you can refill it. And it's very cheap to refill it. He makes his Keto Raid with it. Okay, Dr. Berry's <laughs> holding a baby Yoda. Wait a second. Wait a second, we gotta get your electrolyte drop with your picture on there. I wish that he could hold him in his hand. <laughs> Look at that! We have Dr. Barry with Holly's Baby Yoda and Redman. Well, we are here with Redmond and Miss Chelsea, and they have big bags of my pacifiers yes. that I have been using. Yeah, so these are the ancient sea salt crystals, which are amazing. If you fast, you're an intermittent faster, or you do extended fast, you need this in your life, because when you fast and you're feeling, oh, I'm hungry, but I know I want to keep fasting, take this, lick it. It's that, you know, that hand-to-mouth thing. It yes. helps you like curb that craving, but also when you're fasting, you are depleting yourself of minerals, especially sodium, magnesium, potassium. So this will help keep you up on your minerals as well as make it so the fast is more bearable. <laughs> it's true, and I think your mind is playing tricks with you. Yeah. A lot of times I will I will put this salt in my mouth and now all of a sudden I don't want anything sweet. Yeah. I don't want to eat a baked good. Yeah. Like how did salt fix that? Also, if you're like me and you have older teenage boys, just give, this is like a pacifier. Just, okay, yeah. we're done with this argument. Okay, <laughs> okay. all right, pop, yeah. pop that in. It works awesome. Maybe for a like, teenager, one with a big mouth. Yes, Maybe a, yes. Like, this is this is for the, when they're disputing yeah. Yeah. This is it. We actually have a subscriber who started using them for trying to quit smoking. Oh, for yeah. The yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. Crystal. And you can't really lick too much of this. People ask sometimes, like, well, when should I stop? And like, right. when your body says, okay, I'm done. I've had my fill of this. I don't need any more. So. I, have, I have put it in my mouth to the point where I had to go get chapstick because I'm like, <laughs> okay, well, maybe I, I overdid this a little bit. But yeah. Stay hydrated. But I feel like as I'm doing it, I'm I'm uncovering a gem. I'm gonna lick it's it until true. I make a ring. Yeah. And then I'm gonna make a ring. Someone suggested the other day ring pop. So, like, <laughs> stick yes. it. Yes. You know. Oh my gosh, that would Check rock. Check out that rock. Yeah. Yeah. See this rock? <laughs> yeah. Check out the link in the description. All right, so I am here with Sarah from Agricultured. How fun is that? Yeah. And she sells all kinds of different, well, kombucha, mm -hmm. and then also different, um, like pickled, like right. kimchi. Hello, I Flavored love sauerkraut. kimchi. Yes. Oh my gosh, delicious. And you're local, you're actually here in Nebraska. 
Well, we're, we're in Nebraska for this event. We are based out of Des Moines, okay. Des Moines metro area. But the Nebraska area is a place we've been trying to get in for a couple of years. So we were, we were you know, hoping to just put our name out there and get our face out there. And What got you personally into making these products? It wasn't me. Uh, my husband was a collegiate athlete, and he started to get older and like felt like crap all the time. And um, so he started actually making milk kefir at home. Oh wow! And he does a lot of research. He he's the kind of guy that has to know what makes the clock tick. I, love I just that. I just need to look at the clock and see what time it is. I'm more of a well, cliff notes person. We gotta go. That's yeah. what I know about the clock. <laughs> So he started researching everything about fermented foods and what it does for our bodies and how it enables us to actually thrive instead of just survive. And he came to me one day and he said, we need to tell people about this. And so I'm like, oh, so go tell them. Like, go, go on, it's okay. And he goes, you no, no, it. no. He said, we need, to, we need to start a business. And I said, so you want to start a business making sauerkraut? I don't even like sauerkraut. And it was, you know, it. we did it. I mean, we, we started almost eight years ago. And about five years ago, I started to get really serious about my health, too. Yeah. And um, I've lost 90 pounds. Wow, I that is awesome. Just, I feel like a totally different person. Because what's going on in your gut health <laughs> is affecting your whole body. Well, because it's all connected. Yeah. I mean, everything is connected, and especially in our gut health. About 80% of our immune system is there. Um, and it also is considered our second brain. So depending on what type of bacteria you have living in your body, whether it's beneficial or bad, your brain will actually, or your guts will actually tell your brain to eat whatever kind of food is going to encourage that bacteria to grow. Yeah. So if you have a lot of uh, bad bacteria in your body, it's going to tell you to eat fried foods. It's going to tell you to eat potato chips and cookies and anything sweet. Um, if you have a lot of beneficial bacteria in your body, it's going to tell your brain to tell you to eat. Well, we need to eat these pickles, and you need some kombucha, and you, you know, you, you, you actually make healthier food choices. So this is actually going to help you with your to stick to your meal yeah. plan. Yeah, I it, love it really, that. really well. Now, how cute is this? It's kombucha that's like in a travel package. It comes with a lanyard. How adorable is this? And P.S. It is delicious. So if you have been like, oh, I can't do kombucha because it tastes wonky, this tastes completely different than any other kombucha. We we actually use eleven different adaptogenic herbs in our brew, and adaptogenic herbs are so important because they help your body deal and cope with stress. And everybody has has stress in their. I mean, I have stress in my life. Yeah. But the problem is, is when we get an overabundance of stress, the body releases cortisol. And then your body doesn't know what to do with it, so it stores it right in your belly. Wow. So we are going to uh, take the card, because hopefully soon this will be something that people can get online. Right. They can get we'll to ship. put the contact info down in the description if you're local. Yes. Um, but are you going to be at any upcoming events? Uh, any upcoming event that we can find, we would love We would love to. So if, if there are events that you want to see us at, just reach out to us <laughs> and let us know. Utah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm got... actually going to Utah in March. You are, well, Keto Salt Lake is in April. April. Run by Chris and yes. William over there. Yes. Okay. And so we're, gonna, we're actually emceeing that. Yes. So we, we would love to see you there because I would like to drink a gallon of this. I feel like we need to stock up so that we have some to tide us over. Well, I can April. send you with that to drink now, and awesome. then I will send you with a half gallon of our ginger. Oh, awesome! Thank you. Yeah. Well, absolutely. thank you so much. No problem. Thank. Thanks for coming over. Yeah. We're from Florida. We're from Florida. Well, I grew up in Mississippi, and I met my husband in Destin, and um, we. I live here now. Oh my gosh, so you're like, well, this is now. I'm going to get my kids because they're getting out of school, but yeah, it'll be, it'll be pretty. It'll be pretty. Oh, it's, it's snowing. Yeah. Look at this. It is snowing. Florida it's, girl. It's cold out here. I'm going back inside. Yay. So we just interviewed Michelle Kaiser, I believe is her last name, from the Omaha Bakery. She was on the Food Network. She was amazing. I actually recognized her from the Food Network because me and Anthony had been watching the challenge that she was involved with, 
But yeah, now she's cooking up keto treats and she has such an inspiring story. She has story. an amazing story. So we interviewed her, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually release that as its own video. And little heads up, when that video shows up, bring some tissues, bring some tissues. you will be crying. But I'm jealous because she gave us these like little bites and uh, they look amazing. And Rachel got to try them and I couldn't try them because I was filming. So uh, these that's are tag along. Mine. These are tag alongs. And she said they're making their own caramel out of allulose. And we talked about this a lot. There's a, just a different quality of product, right? Like you want to go sit down and be alone with this thing, right? Just you and it on a date. But there's something different that happens when people I want to marry this. Are I, I'm, making, can I have a divorce? I'm marrying this. When people are making things for themselves, you get a different oh. quality of product. No, I'm having this. I haven't tried this one yet. This is a lemon bar. And they are shipping. They are, just. But I'm telling you, this is a small company that is about to blow up. Mm. I didn't try this one yet. So I'm gonna leave a link down below. They're shipping, but the way they're shipping is they only ship once every other week. And when you have to just follow their Facebook and they're gonna say, hey, we're shipping, so go place your order. Reminds you of the time when like Keto Brick was just getting started. That, you just had to yes, know. That is amazing. When they were doing stuff. That's good, but not like the yellow stuff. You didn't try this one. Wow. 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 Okay, you can have this container. I'm gonna go buy another container for myself and you can have whatever's left here. Crazy. Wow. Crazy good. Check out our interview. Wow. Wow. For everybody that says they may they miss sugar, they can't give up sugar, this is amazing. The owner lost over 100 pounds, and I don't want to spoil the interview, but making these products, she's been baking for 30 years, mm -hmm. it saved her life. Yoda's going on a trip. This is Dr. Barry's Yoda yeah. for the baby. Floating in his box. <laughs> Thirty hours. Amazing. I would pay like three hundred dollars for that thing. I could spend thirty <laughs> hours knitting. Oh. All right, now it's kicking in. Oh, it's officially, God. officially. Oh, it's toasty warm. Yeah, I'm gonna use my mind. Mind over matter on this one. I am burning up. It is so hot out. So it's the end of the first day. We walked around, we talked to a bunch of people. We didn't really listen to any speakers. We figured we we're going to just listen to them later. We'll watch them on replay. It's about six o'clock. We're parked over there. It is icy here. I got to remember what it's Be like careful. to drive on ice. Yes. And uh, we are now- Ice, ice baby. Ice, <laughs> ice baby. We're going to go get some eat over at Keto Savage's house. It's a bring your own meat deal. Is that, you can't beat that. So we're going to go find meat and then we're going to go eat. So we're in Sam Club looking for meat. Meat. We gotta get meat. We're bring looking... your own meat party. What better party? Forget bring your own booze. Bring your own meat. Well, the B could be for beef. <laughs> bring your own beef. So we're looking for ribeyes and I want burgers because much better than ribeyes. Bring your own burgers. Okay, so we're going to a party and we've got a party platter. This is a party platter. This right? is Rachel's serving. It's just meats and butter and, and Gouda cheese. What do we get? We got garlic butter from Chef Shammy. We've got Gouda cheese. Smoked Gouda. Smoked Gouda. I've got burgers. We got a bunch of burgers. So I'm sure there's other people want burgers. Chris just blew my mind because he's like, put the Gouda on your steak. That's true. My, my head just exploded. I may even eat a steak like that. What happens when you get a bunch of keto people together? Meat. Just a lot of meat on a table. A lot of meat. <laughs> well, good morning. It is Saturday, day three of our trip. And we are surrounded by a beautiful dusting of snow. Yeah, it is gorgeous outside, although I am happy that we didn't get what they were predicting. They were predicting like one to three inches of snow. We only got a little dusting, maybe a half inch, because this guy 
Hasn't driven in snow in a long time. Do I get brownie points for not like being a backseat driver when you were driving around in the snow? You do, because here's the thing. We're in Omaha, city that I don't know. It's pitch black outside. The streets are covered in just a dusting of snow, so it's a little icy. In a car, I'm not used to driving. It was a little tense. All of those things are logical, but I'm a wife. And I want to point out obvious things that I think that I would do differently while you're driving. That's just in me to want to do that. <laughs> well, it is, like I said, it's Saturday morning and uh, we didn't close out yesterday's vlog for a couple of different reasons. We were in a meat coma. We mostly. went into a meat coma. Yeah, after the conference, we got invited over to Keto Savage's house. Thank you guys. For a BYOB party. And it wasn't bring your own beer. It no. was bring your own beef. Yeah, bring your own meat. And it was awesome. We got to hang out with uh, Dr. Sean Baker. Yes. And we got to hang out with uh, the Keto Brick crew. I was talking to uh, Brandon for a while. And Danny Vega was there. The Redmond crew was there. It was actually Dr. Baker's 53rd birthday. And he says that he likes to do something that's like a multiple of whatever, you know, his birthday year was. He did 530 push-ups yesterday. <laughs> All I know is he just kept eating steak. It was awesome. Steak and steak and more steak. And his birthday cake was a, a steak. steak. Oh my gosh. It was so cute. And I love just sitting and listening to people in that in the medical realm, listening to Dr. Barry, asking her Cindy, Dr. Boz, them just talking about how they want to continue blessing the keto community, learning more information, and just getting that information out to us. It was really just awesome to listen to them, putting so much work into, you know, getting us the information we need. Yeah, and I mean, the meat was insane. So I have to give Robert Keto Savage some props. He's cooked a steak before, Those I think. Those steaks were perfect. I mean, you guys saw the slab of just nothing but everybody bringing steaks because we brought like nine steaks and four burgers. And I mean, there was bison there. There was some liver there. Danny Vega brought this stuff that I have got to find. That should have been checked at the door. I have got to find this. Come on, the, the kidney and the heart wasn't bad. <sighs> But it's dehydrated liver, kidney, and heart. And, and they're not big. They're just like little tiny niblets. And they're, con they're supposed to be like a trail mix. A it's trail called mix. a carnivore trail mix. Oh my gosh. But it was tasty. Now, I didn't even put any salt. It actually says on the bag, and salt. pour salt and shake. Like kind of like you're putting salt in a popcorn thing. I, I have a recommendation. What? Also add cream cheese. <laughs> cream cheese would help a lot. But... It was just a nice snack. I thought it was because, you know, if you don't want to cook liver and eat liver, to just grab a few of these things. You can even throw them in your salad. You probably wouldn't even taste them. Yeah, that's true. So, and but, get, those, go, get those nutrients in. Yeah. So, I mean, but it was just a lot of fun. So we, then we came back to the house and we're like, yeah, I'm tired. I mean, it was I'm like done. midnight by the time we got back here. Joe had that look on his eyes that's like... Almost like a little kid does when you know, like, they have the sleepy eyes. Yeah. I was like, you need to go to bed. Rachel's like, are you going to upload a video? I'm like, ah, uh, no. <laughs> Time to go to bed. Now, I did want to say one thing before we close this one out, and that is that today, for day two of the conference, I don't know how much vlogging we're going to do. Because yesterday, for this video, we got to meet some really cool people, and we did it more in, like, an interview style. And if we put those into this vlog it would be like an hour long. Well, and I don't think it would do them justice. It's interesting. Every convention is different. It's yeah. got a different feel to it. And that's good, right? You don't want it to be like, well, no matter where you are, it's exactly the same. What would you get out of it, right? So this one has just really been a conference about stories. Yeah. And the thing is, it's, it's, a, it's a little bit smaller than KetoCon. So you're able to spend a little bit more time. So we've got like a 10 to 12 minute interview with Ask Nurse Cindy we're gonna do this week. And she's got some awesome ideas that will help you, because I know they're giving me some great ideas, that will help you to uh, determine, is your body telling you that you are physically hungry yep. or are you emotionally and mentally hungry? Amazing. And it's a super easy test to figure it out that you can do right at the moment. When you go, hey, I wanna eat, wait, let me take this test. And it's gonna tell me if I should be eating or not based on am I physically hungry or mentally hungry. So watch for that this week. Yeah. Rachel got, like we said, we're gonna release that probably tomorrow, the interview with the Omaha Bakery lady. Wow, what amazing, amazing video. What an amazing lady. Yeah, so all of that is gonna take 
precedence over like doing a bunch of vlogging. So we'll see how the day goes and maybe we'll just mix the next two days in together. But that is today's video. Mm -hmm. Awesome day one. We're gonna head out the door right now to get back over to the convention center as soon as I hit upload on this video. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.